G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. So today we're going to look at my one working Sunfire V490. Now this worked last time I powered it up. So I'm hoping it'll fire up again. This has got four UltraSpark 4 Plus 1.5 gig CPUs in it, dual core. 8 gig of RAM. We'll do a quick refresh. Now the V490 is the baby brother to the much larger V890. Whilst it's small in stature, it is still a very, very capable little server. Database, web server, Apache server, uh, NIS, LDAP domain, whatever you like. It may only have two CPU memory boards that can be put into it. So half as much RAM and half as many CPUs as the V890. But it is still a really good little utility server. They run two fiber channel hard drives. There is no LVDSE expandability to them. And the last time I fired this up, it worked. So we're going to fire it up again. Now I've just got one hard drive in at the moment. So we're going to see what this does. As you can see, I've already got it unlocked. Now the, the thing with this is you, unlike the V890 where you have the key locks on the outside of the unit, <coughs> this, you can actually lock this door stopping you or stopping anyone getting in to try and turn this off okay quick refresh so we've got all off all on lock which obviously locks the power switch off stops you shutting it down by accident diagnostics mode two hard drive bays and our optical drive so let's power it up you see there we have our location light our service light and our power light in theory, hardware power on. So it works still. This does not have any form of DB plug availability. You use a Cat5 lead, apologies. Use a Cat5 lead into a DB25 converter and then into the serial port. So there I've got four CPUs. V480, 490, mm. Sunfire firmware. So it looks like it's going to be all right to use. This up here is actually this one. I've actually got it working, but it's it's not a happy server. But what you're watching down here is the uh, V490 named Athena. I don't know why it's called Athena. I can only assume it had something to do with where it was working. So it looks like this one will fire up. Now, why am I doing this? Well, we know that we've been trying to get Debian onto here. But what I'm now considering doing is putting something on this. I don't know what yet. And having that as the Nix server and maybe having some sort of cloud system on this application and storage and use this thing as my actual local domain server. Now everything points to Debian being able to put on, be put onto that, so fingers crossed. Like a lot of the Sun servers, they are the post can take a while. Quite a long while. How about I pause the video here and we'll have a look at it when some more information comes up. <laughs> 